First, I'm going to start off with a quote by Annie Sullivan. Keep on beginning and failing. Each time you fail, start all over again, and you will grow stronger until you have accomplished a purpose. Not the one you began with, perhaps, but one you will be glad to remember. Good afternoon. My name is Morgan Durning. I'm a junior at Hickory Ridge High School, and today I'm going to be talking about three key points. How failure is necessary for success, how failure can lead to different opportunities and different roads to success, and lastly, how success can take time. First off, raise your hand if you have never failed before. If you didn't raise your hand, then you're crazy because every single person in this room has failed at least once in their life. No matter if it was something very small, like forgetting to do a homework assignment, or something big, like missing the game winning shot. If your failure hasn't been small or big, we've all been somewhere in between. Just because you fail doesn't mean it's over, that what you're trying to accomplish was what you could say impossible. There are multiple ways to be successful. For example, my freshman year I was trying out for school soccer and my goal was to make varsity and I didn't make varsity and I had failed and I was infuriated because I was like wow like I failed at what I was trying to accomplish and my parents were like you need to take this opportunity and learn from it and grow from it and use this as drive and determination to get where you want to be. So a little later on in the season my coach for varsity, she asked me to um, come up and play with them, and I did, and I scored my very first goal on varsity at a home game. And that was just the best feeling ever because to me, I feel like if I would have made varsity, that wouldn't have happened to me and I wouldn't have pushed myself to do that, which is different for me because I really hate failing, but that just really worked out good for me. And then my sophomore year, I set a new goal, which was to make varsity and get all conference by the end of the year. And so, I failed because I did not get all conference, but by me setting that goal for myself to get all conference, it pushed myself because I was the leading scorer on the team. And that was something that just, I was very proud of myself for because even though I didn't necessarily get where I wanted to be, I still had accomplished something that was really good that not that many people could say. For me, I found my success or other opportunities by new doors opening, for others, they, um, would it be successful without all the failure they went through? All the time it took them to rebuild. Sometimes success can take days, weeks, months, or maybe even years. But for this team right here, it took centuries. Many of you may know the movie We Are Marshall, and if you don't, here's a little background information on it. So, the university, Marshall University, in the small town of Huntington, West Virginia, they were playing an away game at East Carolina, and they had lost, so they were getting on their plane to go back to West Virginia. On their way back, they had crashed into the side of a mountain and they were only a few miles from where they needed to land. And that was very devastating for the program because losing, they lost all of their coaches, all of their players, except for the ones that were redshirted. They lost boosters and the athletic director. That's the whole entire program that had just, they lost. And so they later on had a meeting if they wanted to bring football back or not and everyone voted no until the students and everyone had protested. Now this was in the 1970s. And nearly 20 years later, after the new team that they got had lost almost all their games, almost 20 years later, there was a new team in the 1990s who would win every single game of the season and go to play in the 1991 National Championship. Unfortunately, they had came so close, but at the very last stretch, they lost. The following year, they'd done the exact same thing won all their games and would now play in the 1992 National Championship game. They would go on to win by making a field goal, which put the team to win 31 to 28. The team throughout the 90s is known as the most winning program in college football history. That's a really big success for them because of that setback. Even though that setback was 20 years before all of this happened, that they wouldn't have been successful to do that without rebuilding the whole entire program. If those people would have said, you wanna know what? No, we're not gonna get a new football team, then that would have never happened. But they said, you want to know what, no matter how tough it's going to be, no matter what happens, we are going to get a new football program. <clears throat> and so as you can see, if you ever feel like nothing is going your way, or you're not going to be successful, just remember to calm down and be patient because things take time. As you can see, both of these things have something in common. That in order to be successful, you must fail. Any great athlete or successful person can tell you that they have failed before. And that is how they're so successful to push themselves to do things that they didn't know that they could do. In conclusion, if you think that you're the only person that fails, well, you're wrong. 
Everyone has failed in order to be successful. Everyone's road to success is different. And no matter how long it takes you, it's different for every single person. So just remember to be patient and there's always a way. And remember, do not be afraid of fail failure. For to be afraid of failure is to be afraid of growth. Thank you.